Tonight, new calls for an area to unincorporate for the city of Sacramento. Yeah, it's part of the backlash over a homeless shelter proposed to go next door to the children's receiving home. That's where at risk kids live. Here's CBS 13, Steve Large. That is a reckless, reckless policy. Doug Osi is fired up over Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg's next step in the homeless crisis. There are numerous places where this homeless encampment could go, or conversely, we could move the children's receiving home. But putting the two of them next door to each other is reckless policy. After months of negotiations, Mayor Steinberg is asking the city council to turn the old and empty science center into a 24-hour homeless shelter, along with OC's outrage over the policy. The black line denotes the city of Sacramento municipal boundary. He made this map showing why he's angry the city has all the control over the site. This is about 90 acres of parkland. It's controlled by the city of Sacramento. But the nearest city voter is way over here, a mile away. Osi, the former Congress member, lives near the proposed homeless shelter on the county side and says he's considering filing paperwork to unincorporate the area from the city. There's a number of us who think that that's the heart of the problem, is that the land needs to be put back in the hands of the county. Steinberg spoke last month about the importance of using the empty one-time science center to help ease the homeless crisis. Given the problem and given the numbers, um, I do not think there is any excuse uh, to allow a city-owned asset that's not not being used for anything else to uh, to lay foul. A homeless shelter showdown. The area that we're talking about is this little piece right here. And backlash that's turning the city's boundary line into a dividing line. Now, OC also points out the city would have veto power over any attempts to unincorporate. That proposal is set to go before council members later this month.